Welcome back to Backspace Academy. In this lecture on the command line interface, which is specifically for solutions architects and sysops administrators. If you're a developer, you'll probably be using the software development kit for your particular language that you like. Uh, but for solutions architects and sysops administrators, you would normally be using commands through a command line interface. I'll first, of course, talk about what the command line interface is, how it works, what are the options available for using the CLI? Can we use it on a remote desktop computer? Can we use it within AWS? We'll also talk about the references that are available to help us if we get stuck. So the command line interface is an interface for inter interacting with all parts of Amazon Web Services. The command set that is available and the services that are available is similar to that that is available with the software development kits for developers, for example, the JavaScript SDK or the Node.js SDK. It allows interacting between remote computers and AWS, and it also allows for interacting between EC2 instances and AWS. So you can SSH into an EC2 instance and issue command line interface commands uh, on your AWS services. It also allows for automation through scripting. So how does it work? So the first option there available is to use a remote desktop computer on your own infrastructure and then communicate to AWS. So you would have your desktop computer and you would have the command line interface installed on that desktop computer. And the command line interface will be sending API commands to the AWS services that you're looking at. And that's how that would work. And so it would be over, it will be using the HTTPS API. The command line interface will be looking after all that backend stuff for you. And you just simply issue your commands to the command line interface. The other option there is to uh, use an EC2 instance, which has the command line tools installed on it. Now that is quite a good option, especially if you're using the Amazon Linux AMI to launch your EC2 instances, because that comes pre-installed with a command line interface on it. So what you would do there is you would connect into your EC2 instance from your remote location via SSH, and then you could issue commands at the command line on your EC2 instance and the command line interface that is installed on your EC2 instance can access those AWS resources for you and you can run your scripts that way as well. So the options available for us for using the command line interface, we can install it on a desktop PC and that could be Windows through the uh, the MSI installer for Windows, or we could use Mac or Linux, all available to us to install it on a desktop PC. We also have the Windows PowerShell tools for AWS. If you're already a Windows administrator and you're quite comfortable in scripting using the PowerShell uh, scripting tools, then there's no point in throwing away that knowledge and those skills that you've got. You can still use those and still use the PowerShell uh, tools for AWS. We can, we can SSH into a EC2 instance and we can issue commands through the command line interface that way. And so the options available for us there are to use the Amazon Linux AMI for launching our EC2 instances. If we do that, the Amazon Linux AMI already has the command line interface tools installed on it. We can also use another Linux distribution, such as Ubuntu, that doesn't have the command line interface tools installed on it by default, but we can install them using uh, Python pip uh, to install those command line interface, interface tools for us. Another option there is a very new one, the AWS Shell, which is a GitHub project, which is available currently for development preview. And that's an integrated shell environment, and that gives us a little few little little uh, efficiency tools I, I, for want of a better word. And so it'll have autocomplete, it'll have snippets and that sort of thing available to us if we're doing a lot of scripting in, in the shell. 
So if you get stuck, uh, there's always a reference material available to, to you. We have the command line interface reference, which will go through all of the commands that are available for all the different services. And, we, and of course, we have the command line interface user guide there available to you. So that's it for an introduction to the command line interface. The next one will be a lecture or a hands-on lecture on how to actually use this and to issue commands to AWS services. I'll see you in that one.